2 Samuel 8, Prophet Samuel, David's military victories. After this, David defeated and subdued the Philistines by conquering Gath, their largest town. David also conquered the land of Moab. He made the people lie down on the ground in a row, and he measured them off in groups with a length of rope. He measured off two groups to be executed for every one group to be spared. The, Moab, the Moabites who were spared became David's subjects and paid him tribute money. David also destroyed the forces of Hadadezer, son of Rahab, king of Zobah. When Hadadezer marched out to strengthen his control along the Euphrates River, David captured 1,000 chariots, 7,000 charioteers, and 20,000 foot soldiers. He crippled all the chariot horses except enough for 100 chariots. When Arameans from Damascus arrived to help King Hadadezer, David killed 22,000 of them. Then he placed several army garrisons in Damascus the Aramean capital, and the Arameans became David's subjects and paid to him tribute money, so the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. David brought the gold shields of Hadadezer's officers to Jerusalem, along with a large amount of bronze from Hadadezer's towns of Tabah and Borothai. Borothai. When King Toi of Hamath heard that David had destroyed the entire army of Hadadezer. He sent his son Joram to congratulate King David for his successful campaign. Hadadezer and Toi had been enemies and were often at war. Joram presented David with many gifts of silver, gold, and bronze. King David de dedicated all these gifts to the Lord as he did with the silver and gold from the other nations he had defeated. From Edom, Moab, Ammon, Felicia, and Amalek, and from Hedadezer, son of Rehob, king of Zobah. So David became even more famous when he returned from destroying 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He placed army garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became David's subjects. In fact, the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. So David reigned over all Israel and did what was just and right for all his people. Joab, son of Zeruiah, Zeruiah was commander of the army. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahilud, was the royal historian. Sadok, son of Ahitub, was Ahimelech. Zadok, son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, were the priests. Sariah was the court secretary. Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, was captain of the king's bodyguard. And David's sons served as priestly leaders. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.